If you're watching this presentation, it probably means that someone who has your best interest in mind has presented you with a home-based business opportunity. But the question that remains is, did you say yes? Maybe you're still thinking about it. You probably have one or two valid concerns you're thinking about, right? Well, give me just a few minutes to appeal to your intellect because there's several thousand reasons why no matter how you look at it, you really can't afford not to start a business. Would several thousand reasons be enough for you? Well, I need you to do me a favor then. I need you to check your emotions at the door for a minute to consider the facts. No emotion, no hype, just the facts. And if you think logically and consider yourself a rational person, then this information is going to make way too much sense to you. Let me explain. What if your bank offered you a $400 certificate of deposit that paid you $440 a month in tax-free interest? Could you afford not to buy it? Of course not. The point is simple. Anything that costs only a few hundred dollars that generates immediate cash flow like that is something you cannot afford not to do, even if money's tight. Well, the reality is your bank's not going to offer you that CD, but we're offering you something almost as good. Here's what I mean. How many things do you currently have in your life? A mortgage or rent payment, utility bills, insurance payments, car payments, a J-O-B, and do you commute to that job? Do you take lunch breaks? Do you have any children? And do you hope to send them to college or pay for a wedding for them someday? And by the way, do you ever take vacations? Or maybe a better question to ask is, would you like to take a few more vacations? How many of these things do you have? Well, guess what? All of these are non-deductible as personal expenses as long as you only have employee income. But if you had a home-based business, all of them would be deductible business expenses. Your home-based business would allow you to qualify for these new deductions, big new tax deductions. Even the United States Supreme Court's got your back on this one. According to the Tax Reduction Institute, the average home-based business realizes additional tax deductions every year of over $15,000. You can write off a part of all of these because these are all legitimate expenses you'd need to run our business. And the list just keeps on going. There are over 66 Schedule C deductions you could take each and every year you own a home-based business. Home-based businesses are good for the economy and good for economic stability. So Congress has passed legislation that gives you huge tax breaks to those that run a home-based business that qualifies. The long list of home-based business tax deductions has helped millions of people cut their taxes by up to 30 to 50 percent or more. So why not you too? The industry we've chosen is the identity theft and legal protection industry for a myriad of reasons. Entrepreneur Magazine named identity theft protection and recovery one of the hot new trends to explore and top businesses to start, and for good reason. Be sure to get back with the person that invited you here to find out more specifics on the business vehicle we've chosen, and only until then will you understand, fully understand, why our company is being referred to as the 800-pound gorilla of these two huge emerging growth industries. And best of all, you can get your rich Uncle Sam to pay for your home-based business. I said pay for, not reimburse you next year. So that means you get cash now as you incur the expenses, not when you file your taxes next April. How would it feel to begin getting hundreds of dollars in extra cash every month starting right now, courtesy of Uncle Sam? As soon as you sign on the dotted line to become an associate with us, the tax savings begin immediately. Before you even see it, your employer is withholding money from your wages, lots of money, mostly for taxes. Do you understand the purpose of withholding taxes or the amount determined? Here's a realistic example. Let's say you expect to pay about $12,000 in income taxes this year. That's the amount someone making between $40,000 to $50,000 a year would pay if they don't have a home-based business and don't itemize deductions. If you get paid twice per month, your employer would withhold about $500 out of each of your 24 paychecks. Do you know who decides how much of your wages are withheld for taxes? Actually, you might be surprised to learn that you do. You see, the number of allowances you wrote on your W-4, that form you filled out on your first day of work, told your employer the amount to hold back from your hard-earned wages to send to Uncle Sam. And by the way, allowances have nothing to do with the number of dependents, exemptions, or people in your family. If your number of allowances was computed accurately at the end of the year, you don't owe any additional taxes and you don't get a tax refund. That's the way it should be. You're probably wondering how quickly a revised W-4 will result in a bigger paycheck, right? By law, the changes in withholding must show up in your very next paycheck. How cool is that? But if you don't start a business, none of this really matters, right? So take your friend's advice, don't waste another day, and stop burning your hard-earned money and take action right away. The sooner you start your home-based business, the sooner you start adding more money to your paycheck and to your pockets. Let's say you compute that these new deductions will slash your taxes by 40%, for example. Just an example, but realistic for many people. Guess what? Your employer should begin withholding 40% less than before from each of your paychecks from taxes. 
using this example, if your employer was withholding $1,000 per month for taxes, they should now begin withholding only $600, right? What happens to the other $400? Well, it's going to show up in your paycheck, putting an extra $400 cash in your pocket every month for the rest of your working life. Imagine waking up to a crisp $100 bill next to your alarm clock once a week, every week. That's what it's like to have an extra $400 a month. And over five years, that's $24,000 you get to keep and put back into your pocket. $400 a month is far more than enough to start to pay for the startup costs, marketing materials, and training to get our recommended home-based business up and running. Now you can see why we are so excited to share this information with you. And do you see how building a business with us can immediately, you can have more money each month? Even if you're not a salesperson or you feel like you have much time to do our business, millions of business owners just like us are realizing these benefits. So why shouldn't you too? You see, as I look at it, this isn't so much a decision of whether or not you want to do our business or feel you will succeed with it. Our methods are so easy, you can succeed. But even if success doesn't come immediately, simply by trying, you can add as much as three to $400 a month or more to your paycheck right now. As far as joining us is concerned, you really can't afford not to. Even if marketing legal plans and identity theft protection is not the business for you, do you see the importance of starting some sort of business? You'd be crazy not to now that you have this knowledge. And I'd also challenge you that this business makes a lot more sense than a lot of other business opportunities. Remember, it's not new money we're talking about here. It's your hard-earned dollars that you are overpaying every single month to the IRS. And let's be honest with each other. Who needs this money more, the IRS or your family? What would you do with an extra three to $400 a month immediately? Would you pay off some of those pesky bills? Would you buy a new car? Would it help keep you or your spouse home to be with the kids? Could it help you buy a new home? An extra three to $400 a month over and above what you could earn in our business could do a lot of things. While your tax savings could be more or less, the fact is, if you don't do our business, you won't see any of that money anyways. It will always leak out of your paycheck before it even gets home to where it belongs. So far, we've given you nothing but the facts, but still hypothetical for you based on your personal circumstances and whether or not you actually pull the trigger to start a business. Let's make these tax savings tangible for you. Go to thetaxgame.com and calculate your minimum tax savings by starting a home-based business. You'd be astounded by the number of reasons you're going to see for starting a home-based business, and I bet there's a comma in the number of reasons. After you've calculated your minimum tax savings, you need to decide whether investing a little money right now and a little every month is worth it to add an average of three to $400 a month or more back into your take-home pay right now. If so, simply contact the person that invites you here and learn more. He or she can give you access to simple instructions to make all of this work for you. Next, get your business started right away, which positions yourself to get an immediate pay raise in next month's paycheck. Then, earn even more as you grow your new business. And finally, you need to plug into our proven business building system so that you can turn almost everything you do into a business expense and reduce your taxes. That's it. It's that easy to do. You've been given all the facts, so now you have a decision to make. Let me close by asking you the same question I asked you earlier. If your bank offered you that $400 certificate of deposit and it paid up to $440 a month in tax-free interest, would you buy it right now? Well, that's just like the opportunity you have right in front of you. Remember, getting in business with us shouldn't be just for tax savings. However, isn't it nice knowing that you can get an immediate pay raise now while you build your business? As I see it, no matter how you look at it, even if you feel you have no time, no money, or no sales skills, can you really afford not to?